Welcome guys, welcome to my channel and today it's going to be all about Conquest, Shaper and Elder maps and how can you easily farm them. Now this particular strategy will be perfect for people that want to complete dominated domains. Now if you don't want to spend money and time tra trading with people and you just want to enjoy the game and play the game, this particular method is perfect for you. Now I'm going to separate the video in some three tiers with some bonus tips of course and why I'm doing that. Well every single tier will increase the difficulty of killing the bosses right uh, because this is a boss rush method and because I want this video to be for everybody we're going to start with easy tier tier number one uh, and we're going to end up with uh, tier number three which is going to be the most rewarding method but the most difficult one and at the end we're going to finish the video with with some couple of bonus tips that uh, might help you out even further now every single one of these particular methods will be in the review description below with the link with the atlas progression so you can just copy it depends of which tier you think you will be able to manage to uh, to finish and of course after every single tier i'm going to put video uh, which prove the effectiveness of this particular uh, tier. Now let's start with the tier number one. I think most of you already noticed which notables will be completed but for those of you that doesn't know I'm gonna go through them very quickly. I make sure that every single one of the content of the game uh, will be disabled this way I'm gonna have more focus to rush the boss and kill them. The random missions or the main master missions needs to be Nico. You can even boost this particular chance with scraps to drop those soul fights on the map and why is that important is because you can get packed with energy give you maximum resistances more damage and increased movement speed which can help you out killing the bosses and especially on tier 3 you will definitely need packed with energy it's gonna help you a lot now the next one is map drop duplication you want to make sure that those maps that are going to drop from the bosses will be duplicated which is going to resolve those conquest shepherd and elder maps to be duplicated as well so you're getting double the value which is kind of very important the next thing of course is quantity you want to make sure that the bosses have as much as possible quantity which resolve to uh, drop as much as possible loot uh, we also further increase this with these particular notables uh, on the top there's 15 notables uh, multiplied by 2% increase effect of modifiers on a map resulting 30% increase of quantity and rarity and more items drops from bosses and then you want to make sure that you uh, have as much as possible chance final bosses to drop elder shaper and conquest maps from those particular notables you can even include uh, synthesis maps uh, this is also going to work out for them as well now before I show you the footage with the results, let, let's be honest, you probably want to run your favorite maps because you already know where the bosses are and you're just going to rush them, kill them, right? But what if you run out of your favorite maps? Well, you can include one point in Twist of Fate, which means that every single map that you're going to run corrupted will be generated by a random map. So you're going to end up with maps that you maybe like more than uh, the one that you don't like at all running. Now for tier 2 it's all about maven for all the things that we learned from tier 1 we're gonna stack up maven as well every single one of your boss fights into the maps need to be spectated by maven you want to make sure that you're gonna have as much as possible chance those invitation to drop and most importantly destructive play what this is gonna result well as we can see from the notable it's give us one to three additional bosses to be supporting the uh, main boss and let's say that your map have one boss main right and then if you have luck to have three additional we ending up having four bosses every single one of them to have the same amount of quantity and rarity from the original boss and that's you fighting four bosses which means that you ending up with so much more loot dropped that those particular elder shaper and conquest maps are more likely to drop and to be duplicated so this basically increasing the difficulty and your chance to drop those particular maps
And now the final tier, which is tier number three, and it's all about torment spirits. Now we have to agree that once these particular bosses will be possessed by them, the difficulty will increase. But with the particular notables that we're gonna choose right now, you're gonna increase the item. The item drops by a lot. So let's start with three particular notables. This is gonna give you 60% more increased quantity of item drops, and then we're gonna multiply them by 30% from this particular notable, which also give us chance that the particular boss will be surrounded by torment spirit. And if that happened, the difficulty of this fight will be a lot. It's, it's going to be pretty high difficulty. So, you know, uh, be aware of that. Then we want to make sure that we can increase the duration of those Storm and Spirits because sometimes they just run around and they not ending up going on the boss, which resulting you, um, you know, have um, less difficulty and less loot. So you want to make sure that all of those Storm and Spirits will be pos possessing the boss. And then we gather extra torment spirit. Now to guarantee that your particular map, the bosses will be possessed by torment spirit, you need to look for maps that says that the bosses are possessed by torment spirit. Now, as, as I promised, I'm going to give you two more bonus tips. I didn't put them into the tiers because they are a little bit defeating the purpose of boss rushing, uh, one of it, and the other one is defeating the purpose of you actually grinding those Shaper Elder and, and Conquest maps. But let's say, tip number bonus tip number one, that you want to complete the domain, dominant domains. Well, what you can do you can copy the tier 3 strategy, right? And then you can run only conquest maps. So you run co four conquest maps, you generate the Maven Inventation, then you want to make sure that this Maven Inventation is going to be for the conquest or bosses, those four of them. And then you're going to run it, kill them, and you're going to gather way more Eldritch, Shaper, uh, and Conquest map drop from it, and which is going to resolve that you're going to end up in a circle, uh, when you completing the dominated domains while you're farming those particular maps. And now the final bonus tip, and this is basically before the end of the video. Um, most of you might wonder, why don't you put the lead mechanic? And you're completely right, but this will defeat the purpose of boss rushing. So if you want to be, um, how to say, consistent with it and you want to get as much as possible maps, I believe that you need to just constantly rush bosses and not be involved in any other mechanic, right? But if you include the league mechanic, make sure that you always go for the purple uh, wisps. Why? Well, only the purple wisp will give you more quantity. If you combine all of the methods till now, even if you use a conquester map, you, it's possessed by torment spirits, and then you got wisps and spectated by maven, the difficulty of the fight will skyrocket, and not all the builds will be able to finish those particular maps comfortably. Our leak in that particular state will defeat the purpose of boss rushing so i don't recommend this as a next level or the next tier just because it's going to be way more slowly for you 
to complete those maps and gather those uh, conquest shape or nether maps so that's why i didn't put it but if you want to try it and you think this is the next thing if you can do really quickly the leak mechanic go for it uh i hope of, uh, hope you're gonna gather uh, great results Alrighty guys, we're at the end of the video. If this was helpful, please click the like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to grow my channel and uh, I'm going to really appreciate your support. Of course, somewhere on the screen will be another video that you might be interested in. So if you're interested, make sure to click on it. And of course, uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.